I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to understand one-sided limits. The question here is use the graph to state limit as x approaches 2 that minus 1 means as x approaches 2 from the left side of the function f of x. You need to find limit when x approaches 2 from the right side of f of x. Limit of the function as x approaches 2 and f of 2 if they exist. So we have two examples here. We'll study and understand how to find limits and the value of function from the given graph. As you can see here, our focus is at x equals to 2, right? This is the point of focus in our case. Let's read the values from the graph. The first one is limit as x approaches 2 from the left side 2 to the power of minus 1 indicates left side that is to say if you are approaching from this side you are going to hit this graph which is a parabola right and as you approach 2 you move along the graph and you approach this value which seems to be 1 from the graph is it okay so in this particular case we can write that limit when x approaches 2 from the left side of the function f of x is equal to 1. Do you understand? So that is how you find one side limit from the graph. Now let's try to find the limit when x approaches 2 from the right side which is 2 plus 1. Is it okay? I mean my uh, I'm sorry plus right so that is the right side of the function f of x so if you are approaching from the right side you are going to hit this straight line and you will reach a value which is in this case 2 is it okay so that is the value which you are going to hit so the limit for the right side approaching 2 will be 2 perfect then we need to find limit of the function at 2. Now at 2 you can see that the limits of the function from the left side is not equal to right side, correct? If you approach from the left side, we get limit x approaches 2 from the left side for the function f of x. That is not equal to limit as x approaches 2 from the right side for the function f of x. Since they are not equal, we write that the limit as x approaches 2 for the function f of x does not exist. Do you see that? Since these two values are not same. Right? So that is how you answer one-sided limit questions. So one-sided limits also tell you what is the limit of the function at that point. If both are same, then the limit exists. If not, they do not exist. Now, the last part of this is to find value of the function at 2. Now, to find the value of function at 2, we can see we have a filled in hole or circle, filled in circle at 2. So, f of 2 is 2, right? So, that is the value of f of 2. So, let me write down here, f of 2 is equal to 2, right? So, that is how you can answer such questions. You can now pause your video and answer one-sided limits, limit of the function and the value of the function for the second graph, right? Take your time, answer this. Let me write down the answers for you. We are again approaching 2. So if you approach from the left side, so we can say limit x approaches 2 from the left side for the function f of x is what? We are approaching 2 from the left side. We are on this square root function. We reach a value 2. Do you see that? Correct. From the right side, what is the limit? From the right side, you are coming along this horizontal line and you reach minus 2. So that is the limit of the function when you approach from the right side. Now these two do not match and therefore limit when x approaches 2 for this function does not exist correct you can see there is a jump discontinuity 
So at two, when you approach from left side and from right side, you don't approach a point. And therefore, the limit at two does not exist. Now, what is the value of the function at two? You can see that there is a dot here, which is filled in dot. And so we can write f of two is indeed equals to how much? Zero. Is it okay? So that is what, uh, in nutshell, a method of reading the graphs for limits and the value of the function. Now, as for your practice, let me just sketch one graph here, make a simple graph, uh, which might have value at two, right? So, uh, okay, let's, let's say this is two for us, okay? So let's focus at two in this particular video. Let's say this point is two. And the graph is kind of like this. We have a hole here at two, and we have a straight line going through x, like this. Now, can you tell me what is the limit of this function? Let's call this f of x. And let's say this point for us is also 2, right? Now, what is the limit of this function as we approach from the left side? What is the limit of this function as we approach from the right side? What is the value of this function at 2? And what is the limit at 2? Answer these four questions for the given graph. Also, if possible, provide an example or an equation uh, for this graph. Okay, so you can pause the video, answer the question, and then uh, look into my suggestions. Now, to begin with, let me write down the equation here. That's the most difficult part, actually. So let's say f of x is equals to what? Since there is a discontinuity at 2, we can say uh, x minus 2 can give us a discontinuity at 2. And the same factor in the numerator could be there. So x times x minus 2 I could write. So that could be an equation representing the graph. x minus 2, x minus 2 cancel. You get a hole at 2, correct? Perfect. Now, you'll find that the limit of this function, let me answer here, as you approach from the left side is 2. As you approach from the right side along this, you're again approaching the same value 2, right? Since these two values are same, left side and right side limits, so the limit exists at 2, and it is 2, correct? However, what is the value function at 2? That does not exist. That does not exist. So what you also learn here is that even if a function is discontinuous, limit may exist. Value of function at that point may not exist. So reminding you of the basic concept of limits, we are not at that point, but we are very, very close to that point. When we are very close to that point, do we approach somewhere? If the answer is yes, limit approaches a value. If we are not approaching the same point from both the sides, then the limit does not exist at that point. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope this helps you to understand the concepts of limits. And as we move forward with one-sided limits, I'll take examples which will have piecewise functions, word problems, graphs as we have already taken and equations. And I hope you will enjoy this journey. If you like my videos, you can put some likes. Feel free to share my videos with your friends and subscribe. Thank you and all the best.